Hi, and welcome to Death Death Scam It, a game that doesn't want to save my language settings, goddammit. And also a Metroidvania, another Souls like inspired uh, Metroidvania that I'm uh, interested to learn more about. Alright, I really like, uh, at, right at the beginning I like the music, that's great. So let's just dive in and start this. Okay, a body is pulled over. Uh-huh. And we create a character with a real class. Okay, so more souls like than all the others. So this is actually a souls like, not a souls like inspired Metroidvania. Okay, with a soldier. Uh, let me go through the things. No, no. Let's 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 look. We have a soldier. It he has a sword and shield. This one has double knives and buckler. This one has axe and shield. This one has a spell book. This one actually has an hel a helmet and a halberd and items other than the other ones. A sentinel with a great sword and the acolyte of death that has uh, uh, like a big uh, scythe. Okay, let's see what these are about. Trained by the military of Vedas, good all round fighter, blocking attack gives you soul energy to use for abilities. Quick and nimble fighter that favors close range combat. Dodging attacks gives you soul energy to use for abilities. The Blood Knight is a reckless warrior that rewards aggressive combat styles. You can regain health that was recently lost if you quickly retaliate, so the Bloodborne thing. Wizard, you fight with complex ranged ma magic. Using a healing phoenix feather will give you soul energy to use for ability. Noble. You worked your way up the chain of lords. An agent of royalty will visit you to sell unique items. Using un the items gives you soul energy to use for abilities. No, I don't want that. I never use items in, in games like these. A master of arms, the sentinel. You can equip any weapon and shield as long as you have half of the stats required. Parrying gives you soul energy to use for ability. Parrying with a great sword. Okay. And we have the Acolyte of Death. You worship death, letting you restore broken death idols. These can be used to rest and saved. Killing enemies gives you soul energy to use for ability. So this is like more, more normal, straightforward. Also, it gives me the ability to go for checkpoints. And the other ones have to use the checkpoints that are already in-game. And he gets more, I suppose. So we have, as for stats, we have Vitality, that will be Health. Then we have Strength, which the Blood Knight has the most of, and the Sentinel. Then we have Finesse, that's Dexterity. Yeah, the Assassin has that too. Then we have Endurance, which will be Stamina, which the Sentinel has a lot of, and the Acolyte has none. And then we have Intelligence, which is for Wizards. Yeah, basically only the wizard has that. And then we have HST, which I don't know what it is. The acolyte has some. The noble has some. The wizard has some. I'm interested in acolyte of death, because that's something else. I can make my own bonfires, if I read that right. Let's select that one. We also get an item. Vader's is him, that's normally for military soldiers. Ah, uh, they have all have, do they all have one? No, that's the Spellbinder's Aura. Vader's is him, him worn by military soldiers of Vader's increases your vi vitality by five. Then there's a Spellbinder's Aura. Aura enchanted with elemental wisps, using ability increases intellect by two for 24 seconds and stacks up to 10 intel intellect. That's 
great for the wizard. Shield of Warding reduces time of negative st status effects by 25%. Then we have Gay and Blood increases endurance regeneration by 100% for 14 seconds. So that's uh, the Blooming Moss from Dark Souls. And then Soulstone in the hands of the right person can be used to upgrade weapons and armor. So that's Titanite. Then we have Bombs. Lightning bombs, and we have a rusty charm. Lock it. It holds a small picture of someone dear to you. That might be a quest item or a totally useless item. Do we want to take that to find out what it is? I assume we'll get other items. These are like an extra item, but you can find all of them in the game. Maybe except for the rusty charm, which I'll take. Okay. Then let's... Can we do something else? No, we can't customize. Okay, we are playing an Acolyte of Death with a Rusty Charm. And let's go in. Playing dead, were you? Shame it's always the cowards that survive. Soren is our name. Considering the fate of your men, I thought I'd do them a service. My men, they are all. Go back to Valos. You have an obligation to their families now. My men, they are Go all. Go back to. Okay. Okay, A is a jump. Holding longer makes me jump higher. No double jump yet. I take the moment my my friend the death came down. Okay. Death. Wow. This pain, like I'm burning from the inside out. Better get used to it. This contract will resurrect you in service to me. Rest assured, your mind and actions will be your own. Though why you mortals insist in glorifying a self-aggrandizing hoax is beyond me. In return, you must do something for me. What could I possibly do for you? Give it time. For now, just sign here. In blood, of course. I assume if we don't sign, we are in permadeath mode? No, I can't even choose. We got Death's contract, so time to find out what the buttons do. Okay, this is the, the right menu button. A locket holding a small picture of my parents. There's an engraving that reads, To our de dearest loves, we watch over you. Yeah, we can equip that. And we also have Death's contract. My contract with Death. It keeps me alive until I fulfill my mission. The contract can be cancelled at any time, though it will leave me mortal. I have to be certain that's what I want. The page, is radi page radiates with an om om ominous sensation. It's seemingly capable of crossing realms. Okay, we have several pages. Enough pages. Okay. No, that's RT. How do I... Ah, over here. Okay, we have categories or all. What's this? Conscripts cape. A withered cape donned by the enlisted soldiers of Vedas. Your mother would have been proud to see you wear its color. But has it all been worth it? And we have the loosened plume. 130 heal. 1 1.5 second cast time. 1.5 second cast time. A plume from the legendary phoenix. Unleashing its natural radiance has restorative properties. Then we have a shield that has C toughness and requires two strength. Infantry shield, infantry shield for soldiers from Vaders. No amount of preparation should have sh could have changed what ultimately happened. If what death said it's true, I hope they don't scorn me in the afterlife. And we, then we have a scythe. That's why we need seven finesse, and it has finesse scaling. A scythe given to the, those who worship death just uh, as a former harvest wheat 
A farmer harvests wheat, so da uh, too does death harvest souls. Our life force transcends into a new plane of existence to perpetuate life beyond our understanding. Oh, the effectiveness of plumes is directly controlled by vitality. Oh, we could have had a plus five vitality helm, so it was directly this one. Okay. Strength, uh, finesse, endurance intellect haste determines ability cooldown speed and stamina regeneration uh, rate and also we have fear fear is set to 10 and we can't go further down then we have a talent tree which is the echolith's might killing enemy gives you soul energy to use for abilities that's the first one i think we have that and then we'll go down a talent tree Air Dodge. Takahashi's Bane. Okay, interesting. Then we have journals and our settings. Okay. Ah. And we got a horse. Okay. Let's first look how this combos. Okay, we have a three point c combo. One, two, three okay and we have other attacks okay b b is my dodge if i do nothing i do is uh, a, a backstab also costs stamina holding x does nothing right trigger what right trigger did instantly put my scythe away but i don't know for what Okay, left trigger blocks. Left bumper and right bumper do nothing. Okay. That's what I always do first in a game like this. It has... Interesting. This one is uh, with the contextual prompt of press down on the D-pad again. But it doesn't work if I'm holding down on the stick. That was a thing... A white rabbit game. Uh, that was a thing that I didn't like about the last Metroidvanias I played. The press up to interact while I would naturally hold up on the stick. Uh, that uh, wasn't really good. Okay. Oh, I can jump from directly from the horse. Okay. I try to jump with the horse. And we are in Gaian's cradle. Okay. I saw a little... Okay. Can't I pick that up? Okay. That did look like I could pick that up. Okay, then let's try to jump on, on you if... Okay, this has like a Shadow of Colossus kind of feel with the big things that you can write. Is it Shadow of the Colossus? Maybe it's something else. Okay, we need to dismount you. Okay, what are you? Press X button to attack. Yeah, I figured that out. Press menu to open your inventory. Okay. And we get a crow plume. Hey, one of the things, uh, one of the uh, starting classes starts with one of those. Returns you to the last death idol arrested at the opalescent jet plume of a crow. They have long been the harbingers of death. Their eyes said to be gateway for him to observe our words. So that's a homeward poem. Use the horse, horse to leap over big gaps. Logoth Shortbow. Ah, that's the right trigger one. Press right shoulder trigger to use secondary weapon. Okay. Uh, equip as weapon 2. Okay, and we have limited arrows. Okay. But we can now ride our, our horse up here to jump that gap. Use the horse. So just go along with the horse. Haha. 
and this allows us to get the Leaf of Gaia. When consumed, restores all health and removes minor status ailments. There are rumors of growths untouched by, by seasons, where spring is eternal and the leaves are lush. They are the locus of ley lines, the nervous system of Gaia, and radiant sides of magic. This leaf is proof of such a place. Okay, it's an extra healing item. That looked weird. Okay, this is one of my adders where I can rest. Your actions in this world will... I have no idea what that said. We could level up with 20 shards, but we need shards first. Will not be forgotten. Okay, it says that on every one. It won't be forgotten that I... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what are you? Activate. One of three is activated. Also this made some things appear to the left. Okay. Because this is blocked. Okay. Okay. That's a titanite lizard. Okay, not like that. More like this, perhaps? Okay. Had to try that. Hold left shoulder trigger to block. Press B button to button... Uh, B button button while moving to dodge roll. Oh god. Okay. That somehow didn't work as planned. And we get 22 shots. His ghost flew away, away and the things uh, appeared. I don't think I can die, actually. Eluding death gives you a god complex, I see. If you intend to squander your life, go right on ahead. I'm sure your men are eager to see you. But should you think twice, take one of these. They're restorative plumes. Ah, I Use it to ensure your return to Vados. Consider it the last kindness I offer you. Not sure burning me alive is kindness. Compared to what lies ahead, I assure you it is. And we gained a feather. I thought he dropped it there. Okay. And we can now heal with the right bumper. Okay. We have three feathers. Okay. Right shoulder button to use equipped item. Yeah, I used that because it was contextual prompt on the screen. Reclaim? Reclaim what? Sacrifice to reclaim lost plumes. Oh, I can lose my... Permanently lose my... Or oh, have permanently lose my feathers. Interesting. Okay, I can increase my damage by 10% each for sacrificing uh, feathers. Interesting. Also, I can level up once. Um, no, no. Yeah, I might need uh, stamina. But let's go for damage now. And we leveled up for one finesse. I don't know how this game saves, so... I'm sitting down to save. Resting death idols regenerates used feathers. As I thought so.
Okay, what does this say? While blocking, press secondary a weapon button to kick shielded enemies. Ah, so, ah, okay, that's what I was supposed to learn here. Why did you respawn? Are you fucking kidding me? Another crow of plumes, so they are uh, just dropped every now and then. Interesting. I want to try that. Okay. I wanted wanted to try uh, if uh, parrying is like uh, is it Sekiro who does that? I think so. Okay, we can go to the right here or to or to the left. I want to. I think I want to go to the left. Can I please go down? Thank you. I have no idea where you're coming from. Okay. Interesting enough. Let's go here. Eh. Okay, we need to fall on this from somewhere above, I suppose. Can we jump high enough? Over there? No. But we could fall to our doom here. What's this? Attacked while in air or after dodge roll to execute different attacks. Oh, that's an uppercut. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Okay. But we can't really go there. Let's try to... Wait. Whoa. Okay, that's not... Hmm. The air and the air dodge is not an option yet. Okay, then let's go up here. Who are you? Okay. This is weird. This section feels weird. But okay. Okay. Great. Uh, I think I didn't get uh, falling damage. We get Fragile Courage, which is an aura. Increases vitality by 15, destroyed if killed. The strength we find in dire times can propel us beyond our limitations, but such illusions, illusions of grandeur are fragile, easily shattered. So we can increase our vit, but it, it's not permanent and will shatter like the uh, fragile strength and greed from uh, Hollow Knight. Okay, and we got another rest spot here, which lets us level up again. <clears throat> So one vitality. Okay. And what else? One endurance. I'll need it on the line. And one finesse for weapon damage.
So it was said that these are sometimes broken and we can uh, restore them. I'm interested in seeing that. Oh. Okay, we get a little fighting room. Okay, we'll learn about abilities here. Okay. Okay, he has like... Okay, we are supposed to use the thing against him. To get rid of his shield. So we learned about our ability here. And we activated the second of the blips. We still need to activate the middle one, which I know where to go, I think. But let's learn about our abilities because I think we... Can't we change them? So... Does, do, do these show what my ability is? No. Where are my abilities listed? Are they here? No. I assume we'll get something here. Abilities, yes. Okay, we'll find them in the world, I suppose. This one is Reap. Uh, six second cooldown and requires Scythe and seven finesse. Strike enemies with your scythe. Increases scythe damage by 20% per enemy hit for 10 seconds. Oh, okay. It's better against multiple enemies. Uh, how many shards do I have? I find, do I have enough? I have 11 shards. So that's not enough. That looked weird. Like how his gun flew around. I think there was no fall damage, yeah. Okay. So that at least that impression was right. We still can't go on top of this. So we need to come back for these two items once we have that double jump ability. Okay, and we killed these guys, which lets us rest here again, and now we have to go up from here. And we're at... Okay, these basic enemies are really easy. Okay. Oh! Okay. Wow. Okay, don't go right through him in that moment. We have light griefs now. Strength 2 and finesse 2. Military griefs of light metal offering decent protection. The compounding defeat against Ceradon has given their forges a near infinite supply of scrap metal to refine and rebuild. Yet their lands remain in ruin and their soldiers ill-equipped with deteriorating armor and weapons. Okay, we get extra damage. And energy goes down slowly. Okay, something attacks me. And other guys. Okay. That looks like 
a phoenix? Yeah, it's a phoenix because it burns stuff. We got a sunstone. Okay, that's uh, the thing I never use in Dark Souls. We have an abyssal eye here. And you know, occult spell that it, uh, summons the third eye. Wicked tales exist of cultists who gouge out their eyes, throwing them to the fires in hopes that their sacrifice will grant them unified vision with their god. But what if their god is blind? Okay, I think we just have to try out that one. Because that's not so straightforward. Okay, we take this one, which is Dragonberry. What's Dragonberry do? Removes poison. Said to grow from the ashen wake of fire, the white blossoms are symbolic of purified souls. For this reason, funerous invaders often overflow with pale petals of the Draconum. Can we jump up here? Take the reinforced hand and go down? Yes. Vitality plus one, a standard issue infantry barbute. It's been personalized with additional padding and streaks of paint. But we have this thing. That's our rusty charm. Okay, this one actually has stats, so I equip it. That's what? Another dragonberry against poison. trying to electrocute me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, did that reset the enemy or not? Okay, here yeah, we can just stand here. I tried to dodge him, but I was too late on the button press. this guy no okay that dropped me down but we'll have to do that again but we'll rest here then we can level up uh, to gain one finesse and no no one endurance confirm and this is the point where we'll continue the game in the next episode. So have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.